It's easy to blame the countries that have the highest populations for global warming. More people means more energy, which means more emissions. But it's actually not that straightforward. To really understand who's letting the whole team down, we need to look at which countries per capita, meaning per person, do the most damage to the environment. So some of the top global contributors to climate change are Russia, Canada, USA, Saudi Arabia, Australia, the UAE, Qatar. Though some of these countries have less people, their high levels of emissions per person far exceed those of poorer, more populated countries. This is because of their heavy reliance on fossil fuels, energy intensive industries and very wealthy lifestyles. For example, a family of seven living in Namibia typically uses less energy than just one average American, let alone a super rich one. But if we do take these very populated countries into account, regardless of how much money they actually bring in, the new top five would be Brazil for their deforestation and agricultural practices. India with their large and rising population alone contributing to global emissions. The EU as a bloc is also a major emitter and plays a crucial role in shaping policies and trends to do with the climate crisis. USA makes the list twice as one of the largest global emitters and China as the highest emitter globally. All these countries make a staggering impact on pollution worldwide and at the end of the day, climate change will only worsen if they don't turn it around. While these are the big players that need to make a big change, it's also important that we do our part in South Africa, not only reducing our emissions, but also pressuring these big polluters to clean up their act. Follow us at ClimateComs.za and visit us at climatecoms.co.za to learn more about the climate and the role we play on the path to a healthier world.